Hello, my name is Augie Nieto. Augie Nieto was once known for his strength and speech. While in college, he co-founded Lifecycle Incorporated, now known as Life Fitness, one of the largest fitness equipment makers in the world. In 2005, Augie was diagnosed with ALS. When he first was diagnosed, kind of really wanted to close his world and just kind of reach out to just a few friends and really didn't know, I think, um, how to deal with the situation. ALS, or Lou Gehrig's disease, causes muscle weakness and atrophy throughout the body to the point where a person can no longer eat, speak, or breathe on their own. Many do not survive beyond five years. Right after the diagnosis, Augie was very depressed, and but knew he needed to do something. And at one point, he tried to take his life by, by taking a handful of pills. Um, when he woke up four days later in the hospital, he kind of came back as a renewed sense. He was happy to be alive. I am an inventor. I have the ability to see a need and to find a creative solution. To me, the getting item for me is not whether I can breathe, it is whether I can communicate. Since his diagnosis, Augie has introduced us to Augie's Quest, a book he has authored and a foundation he has started. You know, when I was reading his, the book Augie's Quest, one quote that really stood out to me was, instead of mourning what I can't do, I choose to celebrate what I can do. I have three goals in the next year. One, raise money. We just crossed the $26 million mark. Every year we're surprised by the generosity of Augie's friends and contacts, and it just keeps getting better and better. So I see um, really a legacy forming around Augie's Quest. Two, invest in research. I'm the chairman of ALSTDI, the world's largest research institute in the world focused on finding a cure for ALS. We've identified a molecule that has shown to slow the progression of ALS in the mouse model and extend the, the life of the mouse model. And we, it's the biggest thing in ALS research ever. Three, communication. I'm applying my business knowledge and inventive skills to help others with technology to unlock their ability to communicate. The biggest impact is the innovation that my father is doing right now. Um, his communication device is the premium of all premiums of what every PALS should have. My role with Augie, we've developed the communication software that he uses to communicate. It's called Typewrite. Typewrite is a communication software that uses a, a motion, a fluid motion alphabet to build uh, words more quickly than the traditional method, which would be blinking or, or clicking on a letter on a keyboard. He uses right now his feet or his eyes, and that is how he controls the mouse. And with the mouse, he surfs through uh, nested alphabets and builds words and sentences. Without communication, uh, my father wouldn't be my father. Um, it, it'd be very, very difficult. He'd still be in there, he'd still have the same process. I know he wouldn't have the same joy that he has on a daily basis. Um, I, you know, he wouldn't have the same relationship that he has with me um, because you know, we have changed. We have altered the way we communicate and it works wonderful. We're, we're definitely on the cutting edge with our software. We, with uh, Typewrite, he communicates anywhere between 20 and 40 words a minute. Um, I think if you uh, would compare that to moving on a static keyboard and blinking per letter, um, it's, there's no comparison, maybe minutes per word the other way. Public service for me is to share my experience with others. It is being a coach versus a player. For me, the most valuable commodity I have is my time. For me to be a public servant is to give of my time to help others less fortunate. To hear someone's story like Augie's is just so amazing. It's so inspiring. The things he's accomplished in the past few years is more than I'll ever be able to do in my life. As most commonly people think of Lou Gehrig's disease, I now think of Augie. The first, na the first name that comes to my mind is, oh yeah, Augie with ALS. Don't you know about him? When I met Augie, I, I wanted to be as successful as he was. And I think after knowing Augie, I want, I want to be as significant as as he is now.